Last time on Fumiko, I um, found my way to Cronus server and it turns out to be a honeypot. A way out. Show us the way out. Another attempt. We'll be free. So we're trapped here with a bunch of other programs. Seemingly like us. But we can't seem to do things. So this whole server is corrupted. So I have a little friendos. I, I did. So there's these shields on certain things and there's memory fragments in there that I want to go get. How many memory fragments do I have by the way? Because it doesn't list that. Nothing down. The freaking face texture is so creepy. I love it. And part of the particles are faces. I don't think you're supposed to even... I think this is just garbage data in here. Um, wait, what's this? I see a stairway. Is this just where I spawned in? Yeah, I think it is. There's a Securotron here. I think he buggered off. Um, So it does really set the mood really nicely though. The the things drawing over the environment, like it's such a nice surreal look and it has it's confusing, but it's like it's you know it's a corrupted area, it's supposed to be confusing. I don't maybe these things can help me. Though I think it said the same thing it said last time. Five memory fragments. I mostly want to get the memory fragments before I leave here. I can certainly see why it gave me all of the. Uh... Oh, it's two different teleports. All right, so I go. What if I go into the teleport with this thing on? I keep the thing. Oh, wait. That just isn't this the same place? I do wish, I wish, like, the teleport seems to take me to a very similar place. Is this just the other side of the map? Cause like, wasn't there, wasn't there that staircase? Wasn't I just there? Or is it a different one that just looks the same? Yeah, there's these purple things, but having access to the purple I'm not sure what it does for me. Can I break that sphere with this, maybe? Break the sphere. No? No? I see cubes. This is sending the cubes. Is this a ritual where I send the cubes? No, sending the cubes has not saved me. Tell me, let me, let me get out. I just want to get out. Uh, can I get out through this window? Okay. Alright, there was a thing. Okay, camera, calm down. Calm the flip down camera. Oh, is that it? No. I keep seeing orange squares and I think they're memory fragments, but they're not. They're just things in the background. Oh. A way out is back up, because that's where we came from, I guess. But I don't... But I want those memory fragments, though. Well, too late now. I, I can't see. Ow. I don't think I was supposed to adjust the camera. I can't... I can't see! Game... Okay, there we go. Now, the camera's not supposed to let you go all the way up, so it conflicts with this. Alright, so... I guess what you were supposed to take from their words was just go the right frickin' way back. Cause ow. Aw, oh, that's gonna be annoying. Cause it was in fact a honey pot. So... Why would you make it hard to go into the honey pot? Well, I guess to make it hard to get out of the honey pot. I do wish I... 
I wish I had gotten those memory things, but I didn't know how to open that freaking those spheres. I don't, I don't honestly know at all what was happening there. So I'm just gonna go. I'm just going up. Again, I wonder if it actually does set a limit to a thousand jumps, or it's just you can jump forever. I kind of assume it's just jump forever. Imagine accidentally running out of a thousand jumps in like this area or something. That that could have only been like a hundred though. So, all right, we're, we're back to safe zone. Are we safe? We're so safe, we're in a freaking padded cell. Great. There it is, another sad attempt to escape your prison. That makes it attempt number 18,257. Frick, aren't you tired of it? The past 50 years have been pretty demanding for us all. It doesn't matter who you're assigned to. We're just entities trying to break each other, attempting to find exploitable flaws in our behavior. You're lucky that I still care. I need you to care. Do you really think anyone still worries what is happening in here? Just stop trying. Ah, oh, frick. You're not real, Fumiko. Alright, we can we can read the backlog. I had forgotten about that. Just stop trying. All your attempts gave me more data to control you. What a pity. You're not real, Fumiko. Just information. I mean, everything's information. What you were born from is just information, DNA. How your brain works. It's just a bunch of neurotransmitters and, you know, firing of neurons. That's all information. Everything's information. Just with a bunch of rules. Physics... <coughs> Physics is information for how things interact. So don't you call me just information. Also, you're a dumbass. You've been corrupted by your creator. Rendered completely useless because he wanted to see more of some kind of conspiracy behind this. Isn't this ridiculous? Your whole existence is a joke. <laughs> Your whole face is a joke. Someday I'll erase you for good. Until then, let's play again. Boop. I have purple power now. Oh! Rest in peace, walls. Okay, so I'm understanding the purple power now. Um, I don't understand why I couldn't get through that shield from before. Am I just falling? Is there a memory? No. I want to say there's like, there was an achievement for like 26, all 26 memory fragments. So I think... Oh. That's death? Huh. Maybe up? Nope. That is also death. What is the... Oh. Is that a thing? Where is that thing? Oh, it's right at the level I started at. What are you? I do kind of like the, the mysterious aspect of like rushing towards things you don't really know what they are. Oh snap! What did you do? So close. How dare you oh snap me. What was this? Giant birds. What, what, what is this? Oh, I can spawn more of me's. I don't know what they do. Oh, birds! I can spawn birds! Excellent. Thank you, birds. Thank you for assisting me in my quest to do things. I don't know what those things are, but I will do them with your help. Um, Alright, so what do I do about this murder sphere? Um, I see a th thing down here. A yeah, fast fall would in fact be pretty cool to have. I guess that's what... Oh, it wouldn't be a Fumiko video. If I didn't press the freaking I die button. I just I just love that button. It's such a good button. Um What are you? I guess that's what Square could do. Because Square seems oddly unused. 
So is there something under here? Um, it's just it's like doom down here. So, oh wait, what's this? I see spheres or cubes. What is this? Let me guess. Death? Oh. No, just bounce. Just gently bounce off. Do I bump into the... Oh, what? What? Do these do anything? Nope. Just cubes. Uh... What? Same. What do you mean, what? This can't be! What can't be? Just kidding. Here. I've got a present for you. Off. Oh. I hate you, Wilson. You're not a good neighbor. Oh, what's this? Oh no, not those. Are these, are these the suck things? I guess I have infinite jumps, so they're less dangerous now. But... Oh, we've got some music going on. Do the birds do things now? That thing looked a lot like the shield that killed me before, so I didn't want to bump into it, and I think the entire point was to get me to bump into it. I see lots of missiles and na naughty things, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do to counter them. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. So I see that. Those things. Hmm. Still can't get in. I, I never understood what the clones do. But I have birds. What do birds do? Can I feed the birds to the thing? Kind of like Anomia's thing. What? Did the birds kill the Anomia? I think the birds did, in fact, kill the thing. Alright, birds. Birds, do your thing. I don't know why the birds are so dangerous, but I approve. Finally, birds in a video game that are not trying to kill you. And in fact, do the opposite. Alright, so... Why does it start me in jail every time? The jail is so disorienting. Let's clear some of that out. There we go. Alright, so... It's freaking glow balls everywhere. Let's just get a bunch of birds. I think it's all the birds we can get. Ah, oh, frickin'! Oh, they killed my birds? How dare they? Alright. Holy crap, that's a lot of those. Alright, so... Let's get a few birds. I just need a few. I think. And I think the birds do, in fact, eat these, like, Anomia face drill... monster things. I like how surreal the enemies are. The... Especially these things. Uh, I do have birds, right? Birds. Birds handle this. Birds. Oh, don't tell me the birds died or something. Oh, frickin'. Birds, please. Alright, I have my birds again. Where are the... Birds, please. Did my birds disappear again? I think I saw one. No? Ugh. What, what, what? Where did my birds keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to spawn birds and then they eat the the evil red core things But the birds keep disappearing before I can do anything Yes, th this thing keeps eating my birds uh, I guess I have some left Birds. Oh, come on! Birds! I think this one spawns Fumikos. Alright, no, this also spawns some birds. Alright, birds. Birds, would you freaking come with me? The birds are so slow, they get killed by the lasers. Can I kill this on my own? Or do I have to let the birds do it? Birds! birds I think I know what I need to do here but the birds are so terrible Can I kill this with the birds I have so little agency in what's going on in regards to the birds so that's just spawns more me's whoa, 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 I don't since the first time I could spawn more me's I never understood what the hell that even does I think it might just be cosmetic. What the? Don't really know what just happened there. Can I kill this with the birds? No! Okay, so that's like, that's like the black hole thing, except it also kills you, which is great. Why, why can't these spawn closer to the things I need to kill? Alright, birds. Alright, you can't kill this many birds. You can make a lot more birds than I thought you could. Alright. Fast fall would still help a massive amount. Alright. You can't kill this many birds. It's impossible. Science d determines that you can only kill up to five birds. More than that, you are scientifically SOL. Birds! You have quite the endurance. Birds, what did you do? Let's make this more exciting for us. Uh, no, this is actually exactly exciting enough. This is, you don't need to exciting, no. What did you do? No, please. Birds. Birds, birds. Frickin' birds, no! Not my birds! What is this? This is death. I think that's like a spout of fire coming from the, the orb thing. I think I heard it. I shouldn't have tried to... Oh, frickin' what? What are you doing? You don't need that many, like, laser line things. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, come on! Freaking birds. Alright. The Fumiko copies do not appear to do things. I'll just spawn a few. Oh, freaking! these things are after me again. The birds don't even kill those things either. It'd be nice if the birds were some form of safety net as well. Because it's extremely dangerous to get them and they do... Like... Nothing. So like... Alright. Alright, that should be enough birds. No! Piss off! Alright, are my birds still around? Probably not. Alright, I still have some birds. Alright. Alright. This game does generally feel 
a, a decent bit harder than it really seemed like it should for what it is. Um, birds. Are my birds dead? I think the confusion would be okay if the difficulty weren't there. Oh, for Pete's sake. And the difficulty would be okay if the confusion weren't there. Like, I, I think the confusion honestly makes more sense than the difficulty, because like, I mean, I don't know. Fumiko finding like things out, you know, having a confusing existence and having to understand how to operate with things around her. That makes a lot of sense. Fumiko having like all of this, like, you know, it's a dangerous world and all that. But I don't know if this like swarm of death bees exactly does the narrative any favors. Come on. Eat the thing. Birds. Thank you. Is, was that the last one? Please. Oh no, there's another one. Maybe. Birds! I can't believe, after all of these years, my, my fate in a video game. It's all up to the birds. The birds have to not be evil for once. And they're not particularly good. They're so used to being evil. They just be evil on accident. That's, that's just how bad video game birds are. Even when you need them. It's just like freaking Snake Pass all over again. That freaking bird. He pretends he's your friend, but no. No, the bird is actually the source of all problems in the freaking game. Because bird... He says, he whispers sweet nothings in your ears. He's like, yeah. I'm, I'm Doodle. I'm here to help you, Noodle. I want to pick up your tail and help things. And then you press the button, and Doodle does not do the single thing that Doodle is supposed to do. Anyway, that's a different game. But it is another instance of video game birds. Even when they're supposed to help you, being, in fact, terrible. Alright, I think we killed it. See, like, the... the the concept of what you're supposed to do is abstract, and that's cool. But then you're also supposed to do the abstract thing while everything in the entire universe is trying to eat your face. Which does not really... I don't know. It, it feels like the adversary should be less unclear and should be... should have a bit more agency over whether you die. What are you doing? I'm not really sure. This is unpredictable behavior. Do you think you can outsmart me? This will be your last attempt. I'll erase every trace of you and this network as soon as I kick out you out of here. Your efforts are meaningless. See, now it's like over signposting. It's like, hey, look at these plug things. You've had to fix these before, right? Now you're gonna have to fix them again. It's like, I don't, I don't even need that hint. Like, that, this is obvious, but it signposts it. Feed birds to murder black holes. Might have actually needed some help with that. Did not, in fact, get any form of help. I don't know what that was. Is that the thing? Yes, it is. Okay. Speaking of creativity, or unpredictability, everyone's like, Oh my god, AIs are gonna make everything boring. I don't like them. Um, they had, um, there's, there's, Google made this Go bot that, you know, plays the game of Go. You know, the thing with the little stones and stuff. Um, and top players made a statement that, oh, um, the AI was so unpredictable is why it won. It made a bunch of moves that are considered totally off limits in, you know, because Go is a very well studied thing. And the AI won by unpredictable stuff that they didn't see coming. It's like, oh. It's like AI can be, you know, rigid and stuff, but it can actually. It doesn't think the way humans do. So sometimes it can do things you wouldn't expect, because, like, you know, it doesn't think of that as off limits. It just thinks, okay, I gotta try this thing, because I haven't tried this thing yet, and, you know, trying things is what I do. And so it found a way to beat human players, and it could have possibly opened up new cool ways to play Go. So I thought that was really neat. I don't know, like, I'm sure there's articles on it. I don't know exactly what you would search, but just like, somebody made a statement, like top, it was top players talking about it. I just thought that was pretty cool. In all things, it's kind of, okay, this is what I was talking about, about things not making sense. Like. 
Where exactly these things are to collect is rather unclear. Like the, they should have a much wider pickup radius. Like, I'm inside of their particle effect, and it doesn't get picked up. It'd be very precise. And the problem is, it's like using 2D particles overlaid on it, so it's like extra hard to find exactly where it is. I don't dislike the game, but it's like, it's, it's a lot of things could, that could be a lot clearer considering how the inherent. Ugh! Uh, that's actually, that was just a grunt noise, but that kind of is what I mean. The inherent awe oh, of 3D platformers. 3D platformers just inherently have this aspect of awe. Oh, it's like, it's like the wog from Orcs and 40k. Oh my god. The, the respawn, seriously. The, unless there's like really good reason for you to not respawn instantly. Just... Under one second, definitely. 200 milliseconds would be would be good. That gives you just enough time to react to being dead, and then you're like, oh, I'm in control again now. Oh my gosh. So yeah, slow fall, definitely, definitely seeing the value of slow fall. In fact, it's really weird that they would give you all of these abilities to go up, and then in all of the battles, you need to, in fact, go down. Because you start, oh my god, Wh where is where is the hitbox? Those things hitbox need to be like five times bigger than they are. Well, honestly, probably just two. But it's, <laughs> you just flop around there, and it's like, okay, am, am I hitting it now? Oh my gosh, there's so much freaking crap. Get the thing, get the thing. I did not get the thing. I was inside of the freaking thing's particle effects. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the... <laughs> you gotta have some leniency in 3D platformers, because they just... Ah! Oh, they just... Ah! Oh, see? You can't... You can't be quite so cruel in 3D platformers as you can in 2D platformers. 3D platformers are more for the exploring. They just kind of inherently suck in terms of movement. The 3D just can't, simply cannot, be as precise as 2D. Um, oh my god! Um, yeah, that's why 3D fighters, frankly, just aren't really, in my opinion, they just don't really work out. Like, they're okay. Like, I like Soul Calibur, but I don't really think the 3D actually adds much of anything. Um, you still largely engage in 2D anyway. Like, imagine how bad Soul Calibur would be if movement was totally freeform. Oh my god, I was touching the thing! See, these things have way better control over themselves than I do. And it's like, I just can't really do anything about it. Oh, for Pete's sake. At least I've activated about half of them. But some of them don't have things. I keep pressing square X and and hoping and praying that it will in fact make me fast fall, but it, it, it does not, and I'm dead. See, once those things are around you, you're just kind of doomed. Like you just once again, you don't quite have the agency you need to operate this. I do think fast fall would help a pretty massive amount, but also these things. These things are like 200% harder to collect than they, they should be. Oh my gosh. So you kind of got to lure these things away from where you need to go. Respawn! Okay, sorry. That, that is really getting frustrating. Um, if you're going to die more than like five times over the entire course of the game, you're going to want to make your respawns not particularly inconvenient. Imagine if every time you died in Binding of Isaac, like, you had to see, like, a five-minute cutscene or something. Like, that's... That's why... That's why things have to be fast. Or, like, no, more like Meat Boy. Imagine if every time you died in Meat Boy, you had to wait ten seconds. Meat Boy would be the worst game of all time. Instantly from, like, one of the best, like, massive core platformers to one of the worst, purely because of respawn time. Like, that's how devastating it can be. Oh, freaking! I was right near a thing, and I did not get the thing. 
These things should have some magnetism to them. That would also help. That would help the issue of their hitbox. Just magnetize them. Like, that's how Spyro worked, right? With the butterflies. You didn't have to, like, physically touch the butterfly. Sparks would just kind of move around and get the butterfly if you were within range. Cause And the gems, too. That's why Spyro has the magnetism. Because it's a 3D platform. Because 3D platformers are a little wonky. That's why Crash didn't really need the magnetism, because, I mean, it's more of a... Like, Crash is a very different game from Spyro, right? You're largely working in 2D in Crash. Though I was never... I, I always liked Spyro a lot more than Crash. Crash was... I was pretty over hard platformers at that point. Um, honestly, after the N64, I was pretty... Like... The SNES had all of this great stuff, and then Donkey Kong 64. Um, like, Donkey Kong 64 should be played as the, like, oh, don't do any of this in a 3D game ever, ever again sort of thing. Uh, am I... is something missing? Oh, I can get in here now. I'm in! I'm in. No! Be consumed Wilson! Fuck, 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 I need to activate the emergency rules or else. Rest in pieces, Wilson. Wait, was Wilson an AI? Or did we, like, kill a person? I don't really care either way, because Wilson was a dick. But, uh... Rip. Wrecked in peace. The orange is good because that's me, I guess. And then the world burned. Or something. It's symbolic. Of burning. <laughs> you can see the destroyed, like, jail cell thing over there. I can't believe it took us 18,000 tries to do that. Actually, after doing that platforming, maybe I can believe it took us 18,000 tries. Maybe it took me 18,000 tries. It felt a little bit like 18,000 at times. I feel numb. If I finally made it, and if, where do I go now? I'm not moving. Is anyone out there? Oh man, I really want to know what I missed in those freaking things. I wonder if there's a chapter select. Is anyone out there? Hello? Loading. Push. Unknown entity scan. Oh, the, the frickin'... Oh, I needed that hat game so fast. Nam Namco, please. Or frickin', um... Um... CyberConnect2, somebody. Anyone fund... Frickin' Sony, they were PlayStation games. Sony, get... Give CyberConnect2, like, just a mountain of money. Make a dot .hack game. Make it play like frickin' Nier, I don't care. Have Platinum do it, sure. Just anything, anything you gotta do to get me a new dot .hack game. Like, Im imagine, like, all of the dorks, you know, fawning over Nier. Frickin' dot .hack. Give us just a little bit. Like, dot .hack was already pretty... Especially Sign. Already pretty frickin' dark. You know, just, just, you know, sell them on that. You know, I'll deal with, I don't even like the edgy, dark game sort of thing anymore. But, um, if that's what, if that's what gets me new dot hack, absolutely. Anyway, it looks like we're not quite done here. So, next time, we will find out what's going on here.